Naval power, a cornerstone in modern warfare, has always been a defining factor in a nation's ability to secure its borders and project power overseas. The oceanic expanse, once an insurmountable obstacle, has transformed into a strategic stage where nations flex their military muscle. The importance of naval power extends beyond mere warfare. It's a tool of deterrence, a diplomatic instrument, and a means of power projection. As technology advances, so does the sophistication and power of naval assets. Surface combatants, such as frigates, have evolved into complex, versatile platforms. Equipped with advanced weaponry, sensors, and propulsion systems, these vessels serve as the backbone of many modern navies. The Zulfikar-class and Talwar-class frigates are prime examples of this evolution. Born from Chinese and Russian design and construction, respectively, these formidable vessels represent the technological prowess of their nations while reflecting their strategic needs and operational doctrines. Let's delve into the realm of modern frigates, focusing particularly on the Zulfiqar-class and Talwar-class frigates. The Zulfiqar-class frigates, a pillar of the Pakistan Navy, are rooted in Chinese design and construction. The first of its class, PNS Zulfiqar, hit the waters in 2008. The design blueprint is based on the Chinese Zhangkai II class frigate, a testament to China's naval architecture prowess. Weighing in at a displacement between 3,000 and 3,500 tons, these frigates are no lightweight contenders. Their dimensions are equally impressive with a length of 123 meters, a beam of 15.8 meters, and a draft of 5 meters. Powering these maritime behemoths is a combined diesel and diesel propulsion system. The heart of this system is four MTU-12 V1163 TB93 diesel engines, collectively generating 24,000 horsepower. This powerful engine setup propels the Zulfiqar class frigates to a top speed of 29 knots. But what's power without the right tools? The Zulfiqar class comes equipped with a versatile range of armaments. The primary weapon is a 76mm main gun, complemented by two 30mm close-in weapon systems. For dealing with threats at sea, they have two 4-cell C-802 anti-ship missile launchers and two triple torpedo tubes. To counter aerial threats, they are armed with two 3-cell FM-90N surface-to-air missile launchers. In the realm of sensors and electronics, the Zulfikor class frigates don't fall short. They feature an SR-60 air surveillance radar, Type 345 and 347G fire control radars, and an ESS-3 bow-mounted sonar. This advanced suite of sensors ensures the frigates can detect and engage threats effectively. No frigate is complete without an aviation facility. The Zulfiqar class frigates boast a helicopter deck and hangar, capable of accommodating a single Z9EC helicopter. This adds an extra dimension to their operational capabilities, allowing them to conduct air-sea integrated operations. The Zulfikor class frigates, with their diverse armament and advanced sensors, are a testament to modern naval engineering. Contrasting the Zulfikor class, we find the Talwar class frigates, the pride of the Indian Navy, hailing from Russian design and construction. The first ship of this class, INS Talwar, was launched in the year 2002 and the design is based on the Russian Krivak the Three class frigate. The Talwar class frigates have a displacement of around 4,000 to 4,500 tons. In terms of dimensions, these vessels stretch to a length of 124.8 meters or 410 feet and have a beam of 15.2 meters or 50 feet. Their draft is approximately 4.5 meters or 15 feet. Powering these robust frigates is a combined gas and gas propulsion system, which includes two DS-71 gas turbines and two DT-59 gas turbines. This powerful setup generates a whopping 56,000 horsepower, propelling the frigates to a top speed of 30 knots. The Talwar-class frigates are well-equipped with a range of weapons. This includes a 100mm main gun, two 30mm AK-630 close-in weapon systems, eight Club N anti-ship missile launchers, 24 Still-1 surface-to-air missile launchers, two RBU-6000 anti-submarine rocket launchers, and two sets of triple torpedo tubes. 
The sensor and electronic suite on the Talwar class frigates includes the Frigate M2 air surveillance radar, Garpoon Ball fire control radar, MR212-211 navigation radar, and the Humsa sonar. Additionally, these frigates boast an aviation deck and hangar designed to accommodate a single Ka-28 or K-31 helicopter. The Talwar class frigates, with their impressive speed and comprehensive anti-submarine warfare capabilities, are a formidable force on the high seas. While both the Zulfiqar class and Talwar class frigates are modern marvels of naval engineering, they each have their unique strengths. Diving into the details, we find that the Talwar class has a larger displacement, around 4,000 to 4,500 tons, compared to the Zulfiqar class, which displaces around 3,000 to 3,500 tons. The Talwar's combined gas and gas propulsion system, boasting a hefty 56,000 horsepower, outperforms the Zulfiqar's combined diesel and diesel system, which generates 24,000 horsepower. This gives the Talwar a slight speed advantage, with a top speed of 30 knots compared to the Zulfiqar's 29 knots. When we consider armament, each class shines in different areas. The Zulfiqar class is equipped with C-802 anti-ship missile launchers, showcasing a modern and advanced anti-ship missile system. On the other hand, the Talwar class boasts a comprehensive anti-submarine warfare capability with RBU-6000 anti-submarine rocket launchers and Humsa sonar. The sensor and electronic suite is another area of contrast. The Zulfikor class features an advanced suite, including the SR-60 air surveillance radar and Type 345 fire control radar. The Talwar class, while not as modern, still packs a punch with the Fregat M2 air surveillance radar and Garpun Bell fire control radar. The aviation facilities of both classes are designed to accommodate a single helicopter, with the Zulfiqar class hosting a Z9EC and the Talwar class, a K-28 or K-31. In essence, these frigates are tailor-made to meet the distinct operational requirements of their respective navies. The Pakistan Navy's Zulfiqar class is a testament to their focus on modern, advanced surface combatants with a strong anti-surface capability. Conversely, the Indian Navy's Talwar class reflects their emphasis on a comprehensive anti-submarine warfare capability. These differences highlight the unique design priorities and operational requirements of the Pakistan and Indian navies, each tailored to their respective strategic needs. 